we're gonna talk parts. And do you see this beauty right here? And do you see this beauty right here? Good old Chris with me right now. Chris, let's talk about some of these parts. Firstly, what is this weapon looking thing I have in my hand? Master cam, master cam, a word that everybody knows. So today, we're gonna talk parts. And do you see this beauty right here? And do you see this beauty right here? Good old Chris with me right now. Chris, let's talk about some of these parts. Firstly, what is this weapon looking thing I have in my hand? That is actually a really cool part that we ended up doing in conjunction with one of our BattleBot sponsors. This is off the Shatter BattleBot. You might have seen them on TV. Um, we actually help manufacture a lot of the parts for them, and this is one of their weapon blades that we kind of reproduced down here out of aluminum. This is originally done out of titanium, but we ended up doing it on the MB40 down here at Akuma. A titanium piece like this sounds kind of boss, my friend. I'm not going to lie. Is. That sounds incredible. And you guys probably have seen it. This, however, is a titanium piece. It is. Let's talk about this one. So this is an aero frame bracket that we originally designed where the interesting thing and concept behind it was how we're going to fix it and hold it, but also reduce in cycle time. So what we ended up doing was working with Mitsubishi Tooling, and we used some of their barrel style cutters to eliminate the step downs versus ball cutters. So if you think about it, a lot of times you might do a ball cutter where you're taking 20,000 step uh, cuts. Mm -hmm. With the barrel tools, we were able to go four times as deep and still maintain the same finish and reduce cycle time. That's incredible. It is. And it you is. wouldn't think about that in titanium either, because sometimes that can be a pain. Titanium can have its <laughs> difficulties for cutting, that's for sure. On to the next piece. This one's a little bit lighter, so I'm assuming aluminum. That's yep. a rhyme. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this is actually a rudder pedal off of a plane that we actually downloaded and reproduced, and we cut this on a MU4000. Great machine, by the way. Yeah. And I was just hanging out with the Akuma guys here, and you have one on that machine as well. Get our camera guy to point over there. Go, go. Yep, right over there. You guys programmed that one as well. We'll look at that separately in a different video, and we're going to talk about this part now. What is this? That is actually the locking nut for the new next-gen NASCAR that I was able to work on with one of our partners and also with Akuma that we did on the Maltus B250. Super cool parts. Everyone knows Mastercam. And let me just close this out from my side to say thank you for what you do for the education side of the industry and what you're doing for the next generation. And for you closing this out, I have to ask you, because we're at Akuma right now, what does the Think Partners mean to Mastercam as a family? You know, the biggest thing is, I, I can tell you, the way I look at this, it's a sandbox. It's a place where we can go and test all the new technology with multiple different partners and get together and collaborate, which makes a better user experience for everybody in the industry. Well, thank you for allowing MTD to play in that sandbox for a hot minute as well. Chris, you are amazing. Thank you for hey, your thank time. Thank you. And thank you all for watching.